You haven't been yet, man. You haven't been yet. The I can't place? wait. It's pretty good. Uh, FX DFW Waterless Fishy versus Dark Rain. Dark, Dark Rain, Rain. Uh, in town for a couple of months on business, if I remember correctly. Business. On um, business. Yeah. And, and the business is delivering knees to the chest. <laughs> uh, but he actually got <laughs> upset a bit here. Boomstick coming out of Send nowhere, out. sending him to the losers bracket. And man. they're both OGs too, so they go way back, like back 2004. Like they they've known each other and ran in the same circles, but you know, uh, Dark Rain moving out. But now you see Boom like Boom Soldier coming in here and just really running amok. He had tore through a lot of people, but uh, Dark Rain, he he's been showing a couple of other characters that he has. Not only his Falcon, he's been showing off his Marth. Dark Rain has a Marth. Yeah, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. Uh, it's not, it's like, I'm spoiled by Ark, of course, and like, and, and PPMD, and like all these, and Pew Pew and all that, but like, his Mart was good. I can appreciate a good Mart. It's, it's more, probably more akin to the Blue Zaft S kind of Mart. You nailed it, actually. Where it's playing the player more yeah. than anything else. And it's, it's pretty neat to watch. He came up a little bit early on the up air. I don't know, uh, he could have, he did react, uh, to the, to the spacing, but I think he had a, a fair idea of where it was going to be. Ooh. Yeah, that's the edge guard tactic that you want to see. As soon as they start coming towards the ledge with... Uh, Phantasm, you just make sure you down tilt a bit early than you see there. Like, you hear the ding and you hit the down tilt, right? And as soon as you do that, they they hit uh, the actual foot, they get popped up, and then you finish them off with fair. Dark Rain tried to dash dance around Waterless Fishy's aggression, but did get caught by the jab. However, he wasn't able to follow it up with much of anything, uh, which is something that I think is a little bit different from Gabe. In that last game, his oh. punish game, I felt, was pretty pristine. Oh. But right now, the punishment is all coming from Dark Rain. He's able to take another stock in about a minute. Whenever he, I think that that's been the theme with Dark Rain is that he reads tech rolls so well that he creates these extremely short matches, and then you just wonder where all your stocks went. Where did my stocks go? It's like um, Bernie Ebers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pyramid scheme stocks, dude. Oh gosh. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> the wolf of what? <laughs> that's actually what he is, man. Uh, Dark Rain, aka Leonardo DiCaprio, filming the Wolf of Wall Street too. Oh. Walking away with all the money. Dude, all the up airs. Oh, uh, yo, this ain't Smash 4. Yeah, that axe kick uh, would have been cool to see, but uh, it's not going to be connecting anytime soon. It would have reset the situation for the offstage game. He wouldn't have been afraid to go out there and potentially oh, yeah. do another up air. Oh, he's fearless, man. Oh, he, he uses the, the boat. Did you see forward tilt into up air? Like, here's. There's, there's some movements, and there's some moves that, that Falcons generally, like, you don't see them doing because you think of their game, you're like, oh, it's all centered around the dash dance and the grab. But when you catch these people using forward tilts and then see them for combo opportunities into putting them onto platforms to go for the up airs and then create death, he's still living. Wow, I thought that, that was going to be the end of it, but Dark Rain still has some fight in him, holding on to that third stock for dear life. Gabe landing Done. that up throw up air is going to be putting him down to two. But still, an entire stock advantage. The fortunate thing is Falcon's recovery is doo-doo butter. Yeah. Uh, so all Gabe needs is just, like, a back throw. But he's not going to be getting it. Dark Rain oh. getting that knee after that back air. God. And that's going to be a pretty decisive two-stock in game one. Take notes, guys. Take notes. <laughs> On what? On that entire game, <laughs> watch that over and over and I, over again. I missed again. it. I blinked. Here's the thing it, that I, I keep thanking Dark Rain for is that he's making my social media job easier because he's making the gifies in front of me, and I know which ones I'm going to use. Uh, so that's pretty sick. Um, Gabe going for uh, a significantly smaller stage. Dark Rain, I think, really excels in the uh, in the in the combo game and kind of read department. But I don't think he's one of those Falcons who you really see uh, for a lot of movement outside of the dash dance, of course, which is like a super essential to Falcon. But Dark Rain showcasing right now that he doesn't care how big the stage is. Ooh. He's still able to put on quite the offensive. The up air is going to be able to get some pressure off of the ledge, and he still is exerting stage control and Jesus, is able to face around the shine. Gabe, however, finally finding some aggression, but ends up getting eaten up by that nair from Dark Rain. The back air is going to be taking stock one in about 32 seconds. Okay, that entire 30 seconds was nothing but them itch puffing out their chests and banging on them. Like, it's them showing, I have dominance. I have a way that can I can kill you at any time I want. And, and Gabe is someone who does really well when he's pushing from ahead, so it's awesome to see that he was contesting it and doing a really good job of doing it. Excellent spacing on the back air, and then the shines right after. That's, that's another thing that Gabe just really does. He has great accuracy, great precision. Oh, no punishment there, though. Yeah. I would have wanted to see uh, jump onto the stage Nair and then reset the situation. Did he just use dash attack? He just used dash attack. He tried to drop down Nair. Uh, he tried to drop down Fair and land on Randall, but he didn't get the knee out in time. 
there was no active frames available, and now he's getting punished for it, but only 50% of extra credit, and oh gosh. It, this is still a really scary position. It doesn't take much for Dark Rain. Going for that back throw there, scoops him up with the up air. His up airs off of the ledge have been catching Gabe several times. And it's been allowing him to net some nice percentage and uh, this time actually net a kill. Because of the recovery game, and, and they're naturally already elevated, he's just pretty much guiding, let's like Kendo, right? You're just guiding the momentum onto the places that you want them to go. And then he's doing a great job of reacting to them. Pixel perfect, knees him oh. as he gets back on. Little taunt. He's feeling it. He's really feeling it. Yeah, he's definitely on. So oh my goodness. Good knee. He's been nailing these knees in neutral. Oh, he tries to go for the offstage shenanigans with the stomp. He would have done a great job of stuffing him out, but he was a bit too far and overextended. Darkling's done a great job also of using those uh, wall jumps. Uh, and planting those knees, of course. Planting those knees, of course. That was great. Dark green, man. Man's a monster. Why is look, look, at the, look at the monstrosity. Oh. Look at the monstrosity. He don't. Oh, no, no. Here comes the best part. Don't do it to, to yourself. yourself. Oh. And then let me get I one. Just one for the road. Thank you. What the ice cube's worth. Oh, it's worth a stock. Yeah, dude. Ugh. 